we have another caller on the line. Go ahead and tell us where you're calling from and what your question is. Hi, uh, my name is Brian. I'm calling from Lima, and I got a question for Brad and Josh. I was wondering, uh, do you guys approve of each other's friends? What? <laughs> Most of the time, there's a couple that don't like. I don't know. Not, it's not like. It just don't get along with. But most of the time, I'd say. How about you, Josh. Some of his friends, <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> I get along with most of them. <laughs> so there's a few of the friends that you don't just, exactly just agree on. While. Yeah, there's most most of we all get along with. Like everybody comes to the house and that, but just mm -hmm. every once in a while there's somebody just they don't get along with for mm -hmm. some reason. I don't know why. Well, that's a difference between the two of you. We've talked a lot about the things that, that you are alike on and how well you get along with different things. But what are some things that are really different about you? What are some things that that are just very different? Who does who does more work? Who who does the work around the house? No. no. Yes. No. Sir. <laughs> Here are some differences. <laughs> no. Yeah, she's just when you're home because you'll do it. No, <laughs> I've always done the dishes when mom asked me. <laughs> no, I, I don't want I don't I've put her down or anything. I've always been a room cleaner, though. <laughs> 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 you do the dishes, but she cleans the room. No. My, my, at times, my room got dirty and stuff, but Heather's, I, I'm not going to embarrass her. <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> I've embarrassed her enough just by saying that. No, but she's, she's always um, kind of, I don't want to say lazy, because I don't want to put her down, but she has always kind of been uh, hesitant to work. <laughs> and where I've always stepped out and, and try to help my mom. And I haven't all the time because sometimes I got lazy myself. But most of the time it was me who did the stuff that I was asked to do mm -hmm. or just voluntarily. It's usually that way. Doesn't one person usually do a little bit more housework? At our house, when we eat around the table, no well, you know, we'll get close to doing the dishes. <laughs> and Trisha will get up and she'll go to the bathroom. And she'll be there until, you know, <laughs> until I'm done doing the dishes and, you know, we finally caught on. <laughs> How many weeks does this take to it catch on? It takes a long time. <laughs> few but, years. But, I, you know, I do, I clean better than she does because I, I don't know what it is, but it's like she'll do a half job, you know, she'll do like, if she has to clean the kitchen, she'll do it really, really quick. And it'll have to be done anyways over again. So mom will just kick her out of the kitchen and say, forget it, you know. That's a good point. Too. <laughs> I'm the smart one here. Yeah, sounds like it to me. But I do a lot because I don't know. It's what your parents expect. Yeah. What you know, if you know what your parents' expe expectations are. Mm -hmm. Well, Nathan and Lowell, what, what are the major differences between the two of you? I think what you said about the work thing like that. I can, I'm the more motivated, uh, motivated to work too between us too. You know. Is that you, saying you anything? You think the same thing, Lauren? Well, I mean, <laughs> I think it runs in cycles. It seems like. When we were younger in elementary, one of us always wake up earlier, get things done, and then yeah. sleep in, then kind of shift it back and forth. I think we're about on the third cycle now. <laughs> where he's, so when he's you're little both little. 30, it's hard telling who will be the yeah, one. Yeah, track. <laughs> well, we have another caller on the line. Go ahead and tell us where you're calling from and what you'd like to know. Yes, this is Eric from Elide, Ohio. And I was calling Lowe and Nathan to see, do they think they get along better being twins um, and brothers? as opposed to their friends, brothers and sisters. Yeah, I think we're pretty close, you know, as being twins, like Eric said, like our friends. <coughs> There's a couple of our friends that, that have brothers, but they're not as close as us. We get, I think we get, well, we get along better, but then we have just the opposite. We can fight a lot easier. Yeah. Because you're so close. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you agree with everything he says. <laughs> do, you, do you get a lot of questions about being twins? People ask you things all the time. Well, I think so. It's like, there, there's this one joke we have. It's like, I can't think of it now. It's How right. long have you been twins? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. How long have you been twins? Oh, <laughs> a very, this is a very early age, you know. But <laughs> it's like I was born at a very early age. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, a lot of people will say that. If, uh, if you like being twins, we have to say, yeah, we can have fun. It's like mm -hmm. fooling people. You know, a lot of people, even some of our <laughs> teachers, don't know the difference between us. Like, that's so kind of fun. You know? And then it has its drawbacks, though, too, because sometimes you refer to, oh, you're so and so's brother, you know. <laughs> well, don't all of you get that, though? When every now and then when you go through school, you're so and so's sister or so and so's brother, you, you feel like you kind of 
follow along someone else's footsteps sometimes? I pity my little sister. Because <laughs> she has to put up with all that you leave behind. Yeah. Actually, she's like real good and she never, she, she usually doesn't get that much trouble and she gets straight A's and everything. And she just, I don't know. She doesn't know what's ahead for her. She doesn't know. Well, Trisha, do you get that sometimes? You know, oh, well, you're Jennifer's sister, aren't you? <laughs> No, not really, especially not at school because she came there a year after I did, so it was like so nobody, had start. nobody's <laughs> made the connection. They're like, you're on straight tag tonight? It's sisters? <laughs> Your sisters? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Well, the holidays are coming up. Do you always buy each other Christmas presents? Do you <laughs> fight a little bit or give each other a lot of hints? Do you try to figure out what each other are, are giving? Do you, what happens around <laughs> Christmas time in your house? See, the way I see it is buy something that you like, so if they don't like it, they'll give it to you. <laughs> well, since we like the same thing, so we can, if I buy something I like, I can give it to him and he'll like it most of the time. But yeah, we like, we like the same things. That's, that's a good idea, though, to buy something. You, you two can do that, too. Buy a sweater that you've always <laughs> wanted and give this it to him for Christmas. This is my Christmas sweater. <laughs> that's hers. <laughs> we had good taste, huh? We had Christmas early. <laughs> early Christmas. He tries to take it advantage of me working in a clothing store. <laughs> buy me this. You can buy me this. <laughs> she asked me what I want, so I might as well No, even her. after Christmas, <laughs> like in the summer, he'll be like, oh, Heather, there's this pair of pants I want. You can buy them for me oh, and $9. send them to me. <laughs> <laughs> $9 is $9, you know. He, you know, since I get my discount, he thinks I get everything dirt cheap and I can <laughs> just buy him anything I want. And, Send it, it to him. Always work that way. <laughs> it's supposed to, though. No. I mean, I live, I live away. You know, she never gets to see me. So. He owes me forty dollars from three years ago. So. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Mom relieved me of that debt. <laughs> she said that I should forget it, and she said it in front of him. So I pretty much I forgot take it. Of that. <laughs> Until we just drug it all up again, all those dirty yeah. things from the past. Christmases you remember? Do you remember any particular Christmas gifts or holidays that you remember? Nothing I got this uh, turtleneck last year for Christmas. And a sweater. <laughs> and a sweater. <laughs> Don't forget the sweater. I wore this turtleneck just to make her happy, you know, because it was... <laughs> oh. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a caller on the line from Lima. Go ahead and let us know what your question is. Hi, my name is Jennifer and I'm calling from Lima. I have a question for Jennifer and Patricia. Um, I was wondering if, like, you two ever got in a fight and then, like, the next day you had a personal problem and then you went to one of the other, to your other sister. I would say, when we get in fights, though, usually it's just, like, a tension releaser. So it's, like, when it's done, it's done. And, like, if, if something happened five minutes later, I mean, I would probably tell her. She does. <laughs> So well, it's just, it's erased, just all of a sudden just, she has a problem. It's like, oh, by the I way, need to talk to you. <laughs> Forget what I did to you. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, just act like that never happened. Yeah. So it usually is a lot of build up tension. You think yeah. things that have been carrying around for a while, and then something little will set you off. Or yeah, well, it is for me. <laughs> it isn't usually something major. Yeah. Because you mentioned before that you fight about a lot of little things and then you forget what they even were. Mm -hmm. What's a good way to make up? Because this is, we, this is the holidays. A lot of people are going to be bringing their families together. They're going to be seeing <coughs> brothers and sisters that you know, maybe they haven't got along with for a long time. How important is it to mend those relationships back together and what's a good way to do it? He always kisses me. <laughs> I, I, just lately, I've had the chance to kiss her because usually she doesn't let me kiss her. Yeah. You know, just I'd kiss her on the cheek, <laughs> <laughs> but she she used to get bothered by that. He used to do it constantly just to bother me, though. And no, I did it because I love you. <laughs> Seriously, I did it because I'm an affectionate. He knew person. I was in a bad mood, and I'd be doing dishes or something. I you know I might not want to do them or something. He'd come up and make fun of me, and he'd kiss me on the cheek. Well, the Bible and does just... say love never fails, so I well. that's my expression of love. <laughs> <laughs> But sometimes it. you learn to live with it, right? Yeah. You get to a point where you put up with things. It doesn't bother me anymore, you know, since he's never well, home. It's nice. She's grown up. A lot of people don't have the, that physical expression, and, you know, it's, it's good for brothers and sisters to, you know, be able to hug and express that a little bit, I think. <laughs>